All right, hello and welcome everyone. So today, it's become very clear that we should probably talk about Wukong because the fucking play rate primate, as it were, uh, seems to be by colossal numbers the most played Warframe in Warframe. And it's not particularly close. Wukong's numbers across a vast amount of MRs, uh, he is the most played by significant percentage, uh, with the two runner-ups being Mesa Prime being most consistently played and Saren Prime both closely being most consistently played across various MRs. Uh, and wow, these play rates are absolutely stunning. So I figured we would do a revisit uh, I redid my fashion, I redid my builds, I did some helmet thing, and I've come to a spot where I think this is gonna be what's up for Wukong, at least for me, and maybe for you. So, let's talk about what's up with Wukong. So, first and foremost, the main problem with Wukong is that his 4 sucks, because it never got updated whenever Melee 2.99 whatever we're on came out. So, we got rid of his 4, and instead we're using Pillage now. Which, if you guys watched the Warframe roster review, you'll remember is basically everything that's good about Hildren. So we're going to take everything good about Hildren and then add it to Wukong. And then we get all of the advantages that come with that. Uh, and it kind of influences what our build is going for. So, if we look at what our build actually is, it is hilariously expensive. Just absolutely, unnecessarily, ridiculously expensive but I still cheaped out and did not do the sixth former required to get the last 4% ability duration from a max out auger message. So if you'd like to do that, feel free to do so. You can throw the V polarity in for prime continuity. Uh, but I did not feel like it was necessary to do that as it makes essentially absolutely no difference whatsoever. So what does this build do? Basically, we're on three Umbral mods, so we have 66% ability strength, which we want as much ability strength as we can reasonably get for Pillage. You want at least 200% is generally my barometer for that. Uh, and then we get a ton of armor and a ton of health from Umbral Vitality and Umbral Fiber. Over 1,600 health, over 800 armor. Uh, it's very, very hard to kill Wukong because, of course, there's healing on his two. Also, for his two... Duration is of huge benefits. We're running narrow-minded prime continuity and auger message uh, to get a bunch of duration on here. We're at 250%. Honestly, as per what you should probably shoot for for duration, anything above like 180 is probably going to be excellent. Uh, I think that, you know, if there was another important stat, we could definitely move off of auger message and go somewhere else with it. So if you wanted to say put Prime Flow in here instead of Augur Message and do some more forming. That's absolutely valid. Uh, but the duration for his two is what all of this is. Uh, and then we have Transient Fortitude, obviously, for some more strength to get us up into that 200% plus threshold. Uh, and then we have Adaptation. So Adaptation just basically makes it so that we don't have to think about surviving. Once enemies have shot us for a little while, we just basically become immune to all damage uh, and can move on with our lives. Uh, and then we have Prime Sure Footed up here in the X list slot. Uh, this mod, for anyone who was not informed, was fixed to no longer animation lock you whenever it goes off, whenever you're resisting a knockdown. Now it's just like raw, no knockdowns happen to you, uh, which basically means you're getting a lot of the benefits of what Inaros would usually be experiencing uh, whenever you have his four plus his augment active, except for this also works under like nullification. So you cannot be knocked down. So you could just keep doing whatever you want to be doing. We have Arcane Energize. Uh, this is honestly not necessary. This build is not super energy intense or anything like that because the main thing you're going to be casting is just your two and Pillage, which are 25 and 50 energy abilities, so that's not a huge deal. And then every once in a while, you'll throw out your Celestial Twin, but the energy needs of this build are, are not very large. We don't even run any efficiency. Although, once again, you could if you decided you wanted to run Streamline instead of Augur Message. Seems absolutely viable to me. Uh, and then the second arcane slot on here is kind of just a meme slot for whatever you want to do. Uh, I've got arcane avenger in here just because if I get shot, I'll get a hilariously large amount of crit chance on all of my items for 
12 seconds uh, and that's at of, of course a very good rate other options for this you can do arcane pistolier with piranha prime or whatever secondary you want uh and just do dumb shit there uh or you can go aegis to make yourself even more unkillable plenty of options here for whatever dumb stuff you want to get into uh but basically this build is trying to combine all of the good stuff from a lot of the most played warframes those being of course inaros and also hildren and then just putting that with the advantages that wukong has which are go fast with cloud walker and i guess the celestial twin helps sometimes celestial twin still i don't think very highly of it but it, it can do you know it can shoot the new core which i guess is good enough uh for how long it'll last the new core that is who can say uh, but we'll have some things to move to that it can also shoot uh, in the future. So basically, this build is just for fucking about and just doing whatever mission needs to be done. I've, of course, decided to go with Glaive Prime because it is uh, the new hotness and extremely powerful. Uh, we're just going to take these enemies and we'll just chunk them up to level 180, see if they can even do a thing to me. The answer is no. We can just do a pillage and, like, take a bunch of their armor. And just glaive them up. So yeah, just to doing normal things there. There we go. Random butcher that was left over. But yeah, that's you know you just use your melee weapons to great effect. If an enemy has too much armor, you cast your four or your new four to pillage. You get a bunch of shields that way, so you're even tankier than you would even otherwise be. Your, your four basically, your, well, pillage now basically makes it so you can just take on kind of whatever gets thrown at you, no matter how much armor it has, because you can just make that a non-factor. Uh, Glaive Prime is super strong, although, of course, you have access to whatever really strong melee weapon you want to bring. There are a ton of them. Uh, and then for any mission where you need to go fast, you just go into your two and no clip around the map. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what this Wukong build is doing. And I, I guess it's what, like, I mean, generally, if this is the most played Warframe, I would think a lot of people would land here. Let me know in the comments where, you, where you've where you landed with Wukong. I kind of just tried to go for the most power I could get with the least amount of effort, which seems to be the goal here. And, um, yeah, that's, that's Wukong. That is uh, the play rate primate, as it were. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, you know the drill. Get in. Get the eye tan treasure. Don't get killed. Simple, right? <sighs> no doubt in my mind that an Iatan treasure lies somewhere in this derelict. And yet, I wouldn't set foot in this place for all the Iatan of the system. You, on the other hand. Oh, wow. This looks dangerous. Uh, for me. I mean, I, I mean, you'll be fine. I promise. My, oh my. I think you found it. Ha! You got it. Now bring it home. <laughs> Juggernaut nearby, it will only attack when it senses high concentrations of infested blood. Slow the fight to go away. Multiple targets ahead. From little things, big things grow, dreamers. I believe in you all.